Hello, namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on what I eat in a day as a vegetarian. Um, so I've been vegetarian almost for now seven years and I can't believe it's been that long. Um, I've been doing a lot of cooking for the past few months during the quarantine and I just wanted to share some of my recipes so I hope you guys will like it. On this day, I decided to have some strawberries along with my breakfast and I'm just gonna slice them into tiny pieces. After that, I've boiled these cute little potatoes for my home style fries and I'm gonna show you how I like mine to be. potatoes I usually don't go for salt or pepper I just add some garlic powder I love bread and I got this bread from a local grocery store so I'm just gonna have one slice from it for my egg, yes, there's an egg inside this box. Um, it was gifted by my friend Yang Chen and I was really fascinated and intrigued when she gave it to me and it's really rare to see these kind of eggs inside a box. I'm not really a coffee or a tea drinker, but I really like juice. So today I decided to have a beet juice for my breakfast. And since I'm anemic, I have really low red blood cells and beets are really beneficial. Finally, my breakfast is ready and this is what it looks like. I really like my food to look colorful and visually appealing. Yes, it's a very millennial thing to say, but it is what it is. For my lunch, I'll be making pad kropao, which simply means rice with basil leaves and chicken in Thailand, but I'll be making the tofu instead. You'll be needing some extra firm tofu, red chilies, garlic, brown sugar or regular sugar, and a lot of basil leaves, um, some soy sauce, and I decided to use some dark soy sauce, so it's optional. Now I'll be making a chili and garlic paste in a very traditional method. You don't have to get it too fine, but the whole purpose is to bring the oil from the garlic and chili. Now in your heated pot, add the chili and garlic paste and just um, saute it for a few minutes. Also, please make sure that you don't burn it because I've done that before. Now I'm going to add my sugar and mix it evenly throughout the tofu and just keep stirring it. I decided not to add salt in my dish because I'm using two different kinds of soy sauce so there's already salt in them um, but you feel free to add salt when you make it. Now add a handful of your holy basil leaves and turn off the heat as soon as you do that. 
keep stirring it for a while and just make sure that you don't overcook the leaves because it might end up getting overcooked and lose its flavor. Oh, it smells really, really good. I think the basil leaves is such a game changer in this dish and it just changes everything. So I feel like I've become Mark Beans by now. If you'd like to add more red chilies, feel free to do it, but I decided to go with two of them because they're really hot. And I'm gonna sprinkle my egg with some roasted sesame seeds. I tried this dish for the first time when I was studying in India in a hill station called um, Masuri. And there was a restaurant called Rice Bowl aka Amitaj. And the dish was called Biker Pao in their menu but apparently it's called Pat Pao. So that's like a fun fact about this dish. And my leftover, I'm gonna take it for my work tomorrow. I normally get a cup of tea around 5 p.m. and this is how I normally make my tea. Along with my tea, I'm gonna have some methi puri as my snack. This tastes like as if it's home cooked and super fresh. Okay, I'm not done yet, but I'm a little bit of extra when it comes to making tea. Um, so I use this milk frother to just make this foamy structure over my tea. I normally don't like to boil my tea and stand by the gas and wait for it to patiently boil. Um, but this milk frother just does the work in two seconds, so it's like a life hack. For my dinner, I just went to my local grocery store and I wanted to get some ingredients. And this grocery store is doing such an amazing job in terms of um, cleaning and sanitizing during this pandemic. So this is my favorite section in the grocery store. Um, so this section just consists of plant-based items like meatballs, hot dogs, sausages, bacon. They're all plant-based and super healthy. And in terms of their nutrition content, um, each, um, like for this one, you could see it's uh, one link of sausage consists of seven grams of protein and very less sugar. And in terms of their calories, it's not really um, low. So it's really healthy for the vegans, other vegetarians. Best part is that it's really cheap and affordable. So now that I've consumed so much carbs um, during my lunch and breakfast, I decided to keep my dinner super um, healthy and light. And I decided to make this easy kill salad with some tomatoes, red onions, avocado, and those vegan or plant-based sausages. And I'm just gonna mix it and I add it. For my dressing, I just went with like lemon juice and olive oil, but you could just add whatever you'd like. I don't really eat salad every night for dinner or for a meal. Um, personally speaking, I just feel it's really unrealistic to have a salad as a meal unless you add some source of protein or a carb. Um, but you know, like green leafy vegetables are really, really healthy for you. It has a lot of fiber and it's really um, important for your gut or for your digestive system. So don't miss your fiber. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.